Right now in Silverthorne, a wildfire is forcing mandatory evacuations. Today, fire crews are bringing air resources back in the Ptarmigan wilderness. The Summit County Sheriff's Office has ordered hundreds of homes to evacuate in the Hamilton Creek subdivision. That's the neighborhood right below the wildfire location right here on the map. Our man in the mounds, Matt Renew, is in Silverthorne. And Matt, this fire is personal for you. It's just down the street from your home, and firefighters are hoping that the cooler weather will help them out. A little personal, Corey and Natasha. Good morning, just down the street from the house. So the good news, not a long commute. The bad news, not a long commute. Uh, the other side of this story has been the weather. It was so warm yesterday, but it has gotten much cooler, and that's great news for firefighters and great news for homeowners living near this 40 acre fire, which has already caused the evacuation of the entire Hamilton Creek subdivision, which is about 291 homes. In a wildfire situation, what happens at night time is your temperature drops, your humidity goes up, and the fire lays down. What you saw. Those are some encouraging words from firefighters last night as the Ptarmigan fire continues to burn near Silverthorne. Last night at the Silverthorne Town Hall, community leaders answered questions from a very nervous community watching this late September blaze burn. The Ptarmigan fire started yesterday afternoon above Silverthorne, and it was pretty active at times. Several air resources were brought in just before evening to help in the attack while evacuation orders were carried out. The fire is about 40 acres burning northeast above Silverthorne in Aspen and Dead Lodgepole Pine. Boy, by night you could really see those hot spots flare up, but Summit County firefighters say these cool September Summit County nights should help. It's almost up above tree line. It's just below tree line, actually, and it's in dense forest. I mean, we're not going to put ground resources in there until we've got a pretty good knock on it with air assets. And once we accomplish that, then we'll uh, we'll put all the ground crews we need in there, along with the weather that's moving in over the next couple days. I think that you know, it'll be a sloppy, wet mess up there, but they'll they'll make some good headway on it in the next couple days.